Hi all, it's Terhi here. Uh, one of my subscribers asked me to do some kind of basic scrapbook layout, um, meaning of how I choose my products and how I start my layouts and how I do my paper cluster thing and all kind of basics. So this layout is all about basics. Uh, it's made with HipKit Club February kits. Uh, right now I'm using a stencil from HipKit Club and um, texture paste from February color kit. Uh, this is exclusive stencil, so it's only available from HipKit Club. It's designed by Kim Watson and it says I love you to moon and back and I'm celebrating my new puppy and this love you to moon and back really is something to <laughs> to use on this layout i'm really happy uh as you saw i did some stencil work and my background is is just white cardstock nothing no gesso no nothing uh right here i'm choosing uh, what papers and what embellishments to use on my layout and these are from pink paisley die cut shapes there are acetate um, transparent uh, embellishment and paper embellishment and I'm choosing the paper ones some yellow some pink um, something like that uh, I'm using black and white photo and I thought this yellow and pink would be lovely to to this uh, cute picture of me and my new puppy. Her name is Mu. Um, M-Y-Y, -Y. is it Y? And anyway, it's called Mu. And she's really lovely. She's now eight weeks old and she's really tiny, teeny little puppy. Uh, I'm cutting my papers here. Uh, just some random slices and some circles and um, I'm at this point I'm never sure which uh, what size I want to use so I'm making scraps just pieces of that and pieces of this um, and I'm not sure which side of paper I'm going to use so there is no measures nothing um, this pink paper is the main paper for this layout because it's so lovely. So I'm making this uh, photograph background, kind of background or frame, um, using this lovely pink chevron paper. Uh, these yellow frames are cute too and I'm really sure I'm going to use them. Uh, so I grab my stapler and starting to build the paper cluster. Mm. It's really hard to tell how I do this because I just do, as you see, uh, I'm building it uh, layer by layer, adding one there behind, one in front and another one behind, so there is no rules or or anything and also I'm you uh, keeping this paper cluster in my hand so it's kind of surprise for me how it looks on the background so, <laughs> so um, it's really hard to explain but I thought it would be nice for you to watch a video where I uh, do the paper cluster because uh, nowadays there are lots of new videos where I only say, I made this paper cluster before, so now you see how I did it. There is no secrets behind it. Uh, I'm adding some circle uh, shaped papers between the layers to kind of uh, broke the, the straight paper line thing going on there. And it's getting kind of heavy, but I don't mind my stapler is still doing it, it work so so it's all good uh, I'm not using the frame as uh, in traditional way I'm adding it peeking behind the picture because I kind of don't like 
the frame thing <laughs> like the traditional way uh, anyway I'm drawing some circles with the pencil and then I'm uh, adhering the paper cluster to the background and I'm using this double-sided tape because um, there is no heavy mixed media on the background so this tape will do it do to work perfectly uh, it's um, it kind of sticks to anything so it doesn't matter that there is texture paste on the background and as you see now the text on the background isn't even so I'm placing my paper cluster thing um, behind the line that isn't even oh, I'm losing my English words here but I don't mind uh, so as you see now you don't um, focus on the text lines on the background because there is just some peeking behind the paper cluster thing and the next phase is to add some embellishment and as said on the beginning of this video I choose these pink paisley uh, die cut shapes so I'm using again double sided tape to um, adhere these pieces here and there um, between the layers because I really love the way uh, embellishments are when they are peeking behind another one maybe you have seen that that side of me before and I'm using the same tape to uh, adhere the frames and now I'm taking 3D foam uh, it's kind of a really thin 3D foam but it's still 3D foam <laughs> uh, to adhere the picture and the paper behind it uh, the reason why I do it like this is is because I want the picture to pop out so that's why I'm using two layers of uh, 3d foam and of course if you have a really thick 3d foam like three millimeters I don't know what's that in inches but anyway if it's a lot uh, thicker then maybe you shouldn't use so much about uh, so much uh, of it because it really makes the layout um, really high and it's then much harder to archive to your albums so I added some thread uh, before adding the picture and because I added the thread I thought there the glue would do the thing uh, together together with the 3d forms because uh, the thread is kind of uh, it sticks better this way and now I'm adding this uh, more of these pink paisley uh, die cut shapes these are some words they are fabulous and was there a beautiful or something like that anyway I thought this would match perfectly here and then I'm adding my title um, I'm writing my journaling behind the, uh, the layout and it's all about this new little puppy uh, but uh, adding this welcome moo uh, as a title wouldn't match to this layout so I'm using these, these fabulous uh, uh, what is it stickers from Pink Paisley and I really love the way it looks like a mural or something uh, the happy word and then I'm adding some animal dots here and there and some American crafts um, chipboard stickers these were from Shimmel new collection starlight was it anyway so I added some and then I'm adding some mist drops because you always need mist drops uh, some turquoise because my uh, thread was turquoise and I love the way a little pop of teal green or turquoise looks 
together with uh, yellow and I'm adding this orange yellow of also because it's look it looks nice and and well it looks nice do I need more reasons no I don't so here it is oh some yellow of course traditional yellow basic yellow so here it is I really like this layout because it's really a basic layout for me and I'm finishing it with black pen adding some details uh, and drawing lines around the enamel dots so it gives something black to this layout because the picture is black and white uh, but I don't want to use any black ink or something because it would be so heavy and I want this to be so light and happy just like my new little puppy Moo is so here it is I hope you like it um, in this picture you really see how the tickers or whatever the, the title is looks I really like it so thank you for watching and next week I'm doing something untraditional <laughs> with February hip kits so please be back then and have a great week thank you for watching bye